so sorry that I have to go. But I am glad you called me. Well, I had to see you. I heard about Georgie. Yeah. Spinelli. He told me he's, he's the one who found her. I was at the desk when they brought Maxie in. She was hysterical, and then Mac came out and broke the news to Rob, and it was like Emily all over again. You know, Jordan and Spinelli were actually I mean, good friends. He is devastated. She was such a kind and thoughtful person. A lifetime of promise and possibility and gone. I know, there's just no way to make sense of it. When I heard about Georgie, I know this sounds really selfish, but all I could think about was you. And how much I loved you. And needed you. And how terrible it would be if I never saw you again. We can't take this for granted. We have to find a way to be together. Are you saying that you think we should just tell everyone Jake is my son and not Lucky's? Sometimes I just wish you would make that decision for me. Claim Jake as your own and insist that we become a family. Yes, and I would. I would if the situation was different, but... I mean, you're his mother. I, I respect your decision. Then we're back to where we started. The boys will be safer with Lucky as our father. Do you still agree? Yeah. But I, I always miss Jake. We could throw caution in the wind and do what makes us happy. You and me and Jake and Cameron living together under one roof. It would be wonderful. Forbid if something ever happened to Jake because of the life you lead, we would never forgive ourselves and for the rest of our lives we, we would regret the choice we made. And right now Zagara is after me and Sonny. He's known for targeting families. So I suppose we should make a clean break. I don't want to give you up. So what do we, what do we do? My divorce is final. I'm a free woman. You're a free man. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty much taking it tomorrow. So what's to stop us from seeing each other in secret? You mean... I mean like an affair. I mean, nobody has to know. We could meet here, we could spend some time together, and then go back to our lives. I know it sounds scandalous and so not me, but it's not like we're hurting anyone, right? Right. And the only person I'd want to tell was Emily. And I think she'd be happy for us. She wanted us to admit our feelings to each other. So here I am. Telling you that I love you. And that you will always be a part of me. I love you. And if this is what you want, let's do it. Should I go first? 
I'm, yeah, maybe I should. I'll go so nobody <laughs> sees us leaving. Yeah. I feel almost. almost that although I know we've done nothing wrong. We just have a secret. Keeping the secret of Jake's paternity has been hard. I know because you love him as much as I do, and it doesn't seem fair that I'm a part of his life and you're not. But I guess the secret is different. It's something we can hold on to till the next time we can be together. Thank you for just being with me. I know it's not perfect. It's, uh,. It's perfect enough. I know I've already told you a dozen times tonight, but I will never get tired of saying it. I love you, Jason. I love you so much. Seems the best laid plans all just outside our hands. Down far apart